very good morning my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so it was really one tough week for everyone in trading forex and i believe the upcoming week is gonna be much better um even in the premium signals we had some ups and downs but however i believe on the next week we are gonna actually do a lot better and i'm gonna share with you the total results soon so let's start right now analyzing the market and see what are the steps and opportunities that are actually waiting for us this week so of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now for the euro usd actually the euro usd was a shocking because the pair has actually made the breakout from this long-term resistance which was lasting for more than three years and the pair has actually made the bullish breakout for almost um 114 pips above that resistance level however the pair has actually reversed exactly at that previous support level on 1.21517 so the pair actually is respecting that level now i believe if i'm not mistaken this week we are going for the pullbacks the pullbacks is one is what uh, gonna control the market this week and however in general the pair is gonna actually continue the rise let me explain the reason remember right now I, I am on the weekly chart that is the weekly candles now let's move to the monthly chart we never did that before however i think it's the time now we have to move to the monthly pair or sorry the monthly chart now if we draw here a resistance trend line on the monthly chart we can notice something right here that the pair has actually uh, made right here a resistance trend line and finally the euro usd has actually made the bullish breakout from that resistance trend line however the last few weeks or sorry the last few months we have noticed the retest on that previous resistance trend line and as we can see the pair has actually right here become a new support trend line it seems like the bullish momentum is controlling the pair and most likely the euro usd is actually going to continue the rise of course supported by this support right here on 1.18752 that's actually going to be the level where the pair is actually going to depend on con to continue the rise so of course we are on the monthly chart now we have to go back to the daily candles now we need to understand where we can actually start buying the uh, euro usd now in general we are going right now this week to short the pair however the target is going to be right here at the retest of the oh sorry the, the 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 finish or the ending of the pullback as you can see the pullback is actually going to be for almost 111 pips that is going to be hopefully our profit and if i'm not mistaken if everything went as expected the pair is actually going to continue the rise right from that point i can easily tell you that we can start buying the euro usd from this level however remember we are right now on the daily candles therefore I think it's going to take at least three or four candles, meaning three or four days to reach that level of the previous resistance to retest the broken level. So therefore, this week, as I said, is going to be the pullback week. And the next week, hopefully, we're going to actually start buying the euro USD. That being said, let's go back to the four hour time frame. So let me just decide where I can start. Actually, uh, this is the take profit level. So. The take profit level or the buy level is actually going to be right here on the previous resistance on 1.2031. However, this week, as I said, we are going to short the pair. Therefore, the best level to start shorting the pair is going to be right here. Exactly. And remember, I'm on the four hour time frame. And as we can see, we had right here a previous support level, which was also previously a resistance. And I'm expecting from the pair, if I'm not mistaken as well, we can see that right here. Uh, let me see if I can draw a horizontal line here. Let me see. Perfect. Like that. So what we can see right here is that the pair on the four hour time frame has actually made here a pullback. So actually uh, uh, we can see right, right here that we had a support number one and we can hear we can see right, that right here the pair has actually made another attempt of support number two. That means we can expect from the pair to rise a little bit more, just like that to hit the previous support level. And then we are actually going to short the pair. And as I said, the target is going to be the retest of the broken resistance. I really hope this analysis is going to be uh, accurate because the, the pattern right here we are having is what is telling us that the pair is actually going to continue the fall. So AKA means uh, this is going to be the bearish reversal. So let's hope for it and hope it's going to happen. By the way, the rising of the EURUSD has happened supported by the news 
uh, last Friday about the non-farm employment change and it was really bad. However, the, un- uh, the unemployment rate was actually uh, better than uh, expected. So therefore, we can see that the bear has been ranging right now. So anyway, uh, Euro USD is going to be good for the short at 1.2. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 1.21311. That's going to be the level where we are going to start shorting the pair. And the target, as I said before, is going to be at the pre- previous resistance on 1.2331. So the target is going to be ranging for almost 127 pips. Hopefully, going to be a good profit, and we will make some good profit out of this trade. And of course, the safe zone for the euro you see is going to be exactly here uh, until the breakout from this current resistance so we can see that it's going to be lasting for almost 51 pips which is normal and there goes your signal for the euro USD. i really hope it's going to work well and bring us some good profits now let's move to the pound usd the pound usd actually the the bullish momentum is actually very strong as we can see the bear is continuing the rising and therefore, we can expect this week from the pair, uh, sorry, this uh, month from the pound USD to continue the rise. However, similar to the euro USD, the pair right now is facing the pullback, and most likely the pair is actually going to reverse after seeing the pin bar right here on the daily candles. We can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more to hit that previous support level exactly right here. And from that point, it's actually going to be safe to start buying the pound USD. That is the broken resistance level right here as we can see we had this resistance level has been breaking out from on 1.33127 and right here we had the previous support so that resistance has already become a new support and seeing this pin bar right here indicates that the pair is now preparing for another pullback so we have to prepare now for the for the for the pullback and start uh, shorting the pair hoping that the pair is actually going to continue the fall until it hit that previous support again then from that point right here I think that's going to happen the next week as well. We can start buying the pound USD. Now, of course, um, UK has just announced that next Tuesday they are going to start the vaccination for their uh, uh, citizens. And that's actually going to be good for the currency. However, as I said, that is going to be Tuesday. So we have to wait some time before that happens. I'm not really sure what will going to happen or how this is going to affect the pound itself. However, uh, as I said before, uh, the pair is actually going to definitely continue to rise. So we are just looking for the best level to start buying it. So therefore, what we are looking for right now is going to be trading the pullback, as I said. So therefore, uh, let's go back to the four hour time frame and where we can. Let's see where we can actually start shorting the pound USD. Now, similar exactly to the to the euro USD. We can see right here. Let me just fix it better like, like that. Yes. We are having right here that is uh, considered as a support number one and the pair has actually went up like that and reversed again and again it reversed on the same level of the previous support so created now a support number two not to mention of course that the very same level of these support levels are previously so were previously a resistance now the point is there is going to be another reverse like that the pair is going to rise for a few pips just to hit that previous support level right here and then after that we can start shorting the pound usd and if we short it the target is going to be right here the previous support level where we are actually supposed to start buying it so therefore uh, pound usd is for the short at 1.34601 and of course the safe zone is going to be right here at the top of that resistance level so i think right here yeah for almost uh, 47 pips i think we can increase it a little bit more just to be safe because there is a chance that the pair if if anything didn't go well it might reverse exactly at that level right here so we just need to prepare and that's uh, th therefore i had to increase actually the safe zone so it's uh, the safe zone is going to be like this and the target is going to be for almost 147 pips of profit hopefully we'll make it so the take profit level is going to be 1.33127 uh, hopefully also it will work as well it will work us uh, to, <laughs> it will work for us well and bring us some good profits now let's look at the AUD UST. now for the AUD UST, as we can see right here we had that previous 
uh, resistance level and I want to show you something do you guys remember this candle right here I said so many times that once I see this candle right here on the top of a resistance level I trust it as a pattern sorry uh, as a, as an indicator for a bearish reversal that is exactly what happened and on the follower time frame once we have seen we have seen this candle right here the pair has actually went down that candle right here, if you sit on the top of the resistance, it means a strong bearish reversal. Now, after seeing this candle, we can see that this was actually a resistance number one, and the market has actually reversed to create another attempt of the resistance number one. Right now, it has become a resistance number two. That indicates that the pair most likely is actually going to uh, continue the fall this week. And as I said before, this is going to be the pullback week, and therefore we can expect from the pair to fall more down to retest that support level before continuing the rise. So actually, let me just show you something. We need to look at the strongest resistance levels on the pair, and from that level, we can expect for actu actually to start buying the uh, uh, AUD UST. Now, if we look at the strongest resistance levels, we can see that right now, we are actually on that, res let actually, you know something? I think it's gonna be better to draw it as, as zones, like that. So we can see that the pair actually facing that resistance level. So we need to look at the strongest resistance levels before that resistance on 0 0.74260. Uh, and of course, if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly the best resistance level exactly right here on 0 0.73412. As we can see, the pair has actually been reversing at that resistance for several times before finally uh, breaking out from that level. And right here we can see Actually, I zoomed out way too much. We can see right here, we had here a support number one and right here support number two. However, it seems like the pair is actually gonna continue the fall all the way to the very same level of that previous strong resistance level. Then from that point, it's actually gonna be ideal to start buying the AUD UST. So therefore, this month, sorry, this week, we're going to short the pair and hopefully we're looking for 82 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them all. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, the AUD USD should be good for the short right away. We can expect from the AUD USD to rise against our trade for maybe 17 or 16 pips only. But however, the difference between AUD USD and Euro USD and Pound USD that the pair actually right here has already completed or finished the two attempts of the resistance. And that pattern right here, that price action, indicating that the pair is, is gonna actually continue the fall right away it's it's maybe maybe we can see uh the pair going against our trade for some time but however i believe it's gonna be good to start shorting it right away therefore let me just tell you that right right from this point right here uh AUD USD is gonna be good for the short right now on 0 0.74257 and we can keep the trade running until it hit that previous support level as, as i said before take profit is going to be 0 0.73406 and of course for the safe zone it's going to be right a little bit more above that resistance level just like that so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost actually we can make it higher than that let me just go to the daily candles yeah i'm going to make it right here until the peak of that resistance level right here let me just show you what i'm looking for exactly that's going to be the edge of our safe zone. So it's going to... So, oh, <laughs> I, I just bite my tongue. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So the safe zone is going to be for 51 pips. And the take profit, as I said before, is going to be that level of the previous support. So hopefully also it will work, uh, it work, work, it will work uh, well for us and bring us some good profits. Let's now look at the USD CAD. So as we can see, the USD CAD has actually been falling for quite some time. And if I'm not mistaken, it has reached an oversold level. And if we look at the pattern on the daily candles, we can see that right here, right here the pair has actually reached the lowest level of the support in long run. I think for more than two years, this has been uh, a strong support level. And the pair has finally visited that place of uh, that same level on 1.27810. However, uh, the bearish momentum is quite stronger and I believe that the pair is actually going to continue the fall but somehow we are looking right now for another pullback as well so therefore 
we can expect from the pair actually to finish the pullback right here on the previous support level at 1.29191 and therefore we, what we can see right here is if i'm not mistaken we are seeing right here a lowest level of another support level so the strong candle actually right look at that the candle has actually closed on friday night as a full candle so it actually indicates that the pair might continue the fall that is not actually any uh, price action indicating any uh, bullish reversal so therefore i'm expecting that the pair might fall a little bit more just like that for another 26 pips before it's gonna be really good for the buy however i'm also looking at the strong support level right here that's a quite a strong support level and right here also it was a strong resistance also not to mention of course it was also here a resistance so that means we need to look for a better level to start buying the uh, usd cad if, if i'm not mistaken that is going to be the best level right here exactly so the pair actually we have to wait for the usd cad to fall for another almost 20 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy so therefore uh, usd cad is going to be good for the buy at 1.27641 and of course the target is going to be right here after it finished the pullback and actually you know something i'm going to reduce it a little bit more just like this that's better so the, the pullback is going to be lasting for almost 143 pips hopefully also uh, it's going to be a good deal so the take profit 1.25 sorry 29087 and of course for the safe zone of course it's going to be ranging below that support level let me just show you exactly right here right here as you can see my eyes guys looking here i'm measuring my safe zone exactly uh to match this support level so it's gonna be almost 40 pips which is, which is really fair enough because below is if, if the pair is gonna actually go below than that i or lower than that i think the pair is actually gonna then continue the fall so that's gonna be our signal for the uh, usd cad and hopefully also it's gonna work uh, good for us and bring us some good profits let's now take a look at the usd gpy so the USD GPY is still continuing the bearish reversal, uh, sorry, the bearish momentum, and the the downtrend is very strong right here. If we draw right here a, a downtrend or a resistance trend line, we can see that the pair is actually respecting that resistance trend line, and if I'm not mistaken, the pair is actually going to continue the fall. And if I'm not mistaken as well, we can. I'm still insisting that the pair is actually definitely, definitely is actually going to continue the fall until it reaches the, that support level right here on 103.27. That support level has to be retested again since we are seeing that the bearish momentum is much stronger than the, the bearish, sorry, than the, than the bullish. So therefore, and if I'm not mistaken also, hopefully, uh, the the usd gpy is gonna be good for the short right here from 104.427 um the reason is we can actually expect from the pair to be ranging for quite some time right here on the same level of the previous support zone so the pair actually gonna be ranging until it finally revisit that same previous level of the resistance right here which is gonna also hit the resistance trend line and from that level is gonna be valid for the short and hopefully we are aiming to that support level on 103.27 so i think the usd gpy this week is gonna be ranging a lot because as i said before we're having right here that support zone right here and the pair has been moving uh, in neutral movement exactly right here so it's not really clear how the usd gpy is gonna move right now that movement right here is actually not uh, good for the pair or oh, sorry it's not really giving us a clear picture of how the pair is gonna continue the movement and if we look also on the daily candles we can see that right here this is the support zone like that and as we can see the pair has been ranging inside this support zone for quite long time that's why the movement of the ucgpy inside that zone makes it really unclear how it's gonna move look at that look at that that is so ugly that is really so ugly this movement right here it doesn't tell you anything how the pair is gonna move so therefore as i said before we can expect from the pair to continue the ranging momentum for this for i think for monday or tuesday then finally tuesday afternoon or tuesday morning we can expect from the pair to hit that previous resistance uh, trend line and then we finally gonna short the pair 
So therefore, uh, the USD GPY is going to be good for the sell at 104.427. And let's just make it clear right here that if the pair actually going to continue the rise, meaning it's going to make the break out from that resistance trend line, therefore it means that the trade is no longer valid. So the save zone shouldn't really be ranging for quite so much. I think right here only is enough for only 42 pips. If the pair actually gonna, as I said before, um, is gonna actually continue the rise like this, then reverse right here on that resistance trend line. If it's gonna continue the rise, it's gonna actually hit that previous uh, resistance trend line or that, that resistance, then it's gonna fall for another retest of the broken resistance trend line and then continue the rise. However, I don't think this is, this is going to happen since the bearish momentum is much stronger than the bullish. So therefore, um, we can actually actually start. Yeah, I, ju I, I just wrote it, right? Yeah, we can start shorting the pair right from that level. And let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone. Just like that. And delete this one. Yes. And the target is going to be this time we are going to aiming that support level, take profit level at 103.27. Hopefully also it will work for us well and bring us got some good profits. Now looking at the USD CHF. I think for the USD CHF is very obvious right now. Uh, the last uh, week signal didn't really work well and the pair has actually continued the fall. However, we can finally see that the pair has, has started the bullish reversal. That pattern right here is indicating a bullish reversal, especially seeing this, uh, this candle right here and this candle as well. So therefore, uh, let's go to the daily candles. And as we can see, guys, it's really hard to see anything on the UCCHF unless I move to the weekly chart and still I cannot really see much from that pair. However, we can see right here that the pair has reached, has revisited that level of the support on 0 0.89183 and seems like the pair is actually going to continue now uh, reversing on that same level. However, as I said before, this is going to be the pullback week and therefore uh, the, the, the pair is actually going to continue the fall. However, right not right now. We're actually right now going to uh, buying the USDCHF and just going to trade the pullback, uh, which is going to last for almost 71 pips. And after that, we can actually start shorting the USDCHF. However, if I'm not mistaken, USDCHF should be good for the buy right away, right now. That is exactly the best moment to start buying the pair on 0 0.89183. Sorry, 89183. Yes. And the target is going to be right here on the take profit level is going to be when the pair actually going to complete the pullback pattern on 0 0.8984. Sorry, this is 91. Oh my God. Um, 89841. That's going to be our target. And the safe zone, we have to go back to the day, to the weekly candles. Uh, that is so ugly. Okay. So we're going to start buying the pair exactly from that level right here. And the safe zone is going to be ranging exactly until the peak of that previous support level. So it's going to last for almost 53 pips. I mean, it's not so good actually that the target's very similar to the um, safe zone. However, it is what it is. This is what the pair is giving us. So we have to just follow it. So there goes your signal for the USDCHF. Hopefully also it will work for us very well and bring us a lot of profits. Now let's move to the gold. Now, if you remember, guys, you can go back to the um, last weekly analysis video on last Saturday. And if I'm not mistaken, I have said, uh, I said actually that the pair actually going to reverse exactly from that support level. That support level, uh, sorry, resistance, I mean resistance level. That resistance has to be respected and the pair most likely couldn't or would not be able to break out from it. That is exactly what happened, as we can see, thankfully. Uh, the analysis was correct and the pair has reversed exactly from that resistance level. However, now we can see that we had right here a previous support or a new support level. Now, that means, if I'm not mistaken, that the gold actually going to continue the rise. However, where exactly we can start buying the gold? The gold actually moving much faster than the other pairs and it can easily move for another 100 pips in just one single day. Therefore, 
if I'm not mistaken, right now we're going to witness the reversal of the pullback. As we can see, uh, the pair actually going to continue the rise, if I'm not mistaken. And right here, we're having this previous support level. That's previous support level is going to support the gold to start actually uh, fall down for another pullback. And from that resistance level, level right here on 1818 1, 63, the pair actually going to be continuing uh, is going to actually reverse and to continue the rise right from that level. Now, I don't want to send any signal to short the gold from that support level. It's different from the other pairs because the gold, as I said, is moving much faster than the other uh, currency pairs. So therefore, I believe on Monday we can expect or witness, sorry, the pullback to finish. And then from that point, we can start buying the gold. It's going to be better signal because if we started buying the gold right now, oh, sorry, uh, from that level of the previous resist resistance right here, the target is going to be bigger, bigger, actually. And the target, we are going to aim the price of 1,900 at least. So therefore, the target is going to be right here. Exactly right here. Um, almost at 1,900, but sadly, we have to change the target to be 1, uh, 8, uh, 1,893. So therefore, uh, the goal should be good for the buy at 1,818.63. And uh, the target is going to be, look at that, we are aiming 700 and 42 pips of profit uh, from this trade i mean that could be the best signal we have sent to this to the goal so far if this signal has uh, worked uh, fine as i'm expecting and i believe it will this pattern really is very good for the buy i mean this is a almost a perfect setup i mean yeah really i would like to invest uh, some good amount here definitely i will do that and of course we have to be very careful so let's go to the four hour time frame to decide our safe zone and our safe zone is going to be right, ranging right here until this next support level right here so that's going to be our safe zone meanwhile this is going to be our target i mean that's really fair enough and the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 1800 pips i mean that's a lot but you have to be smart you have to trade smartly please be extra careful how you are trading the gold as you have seen, guys, uh, the safe zone this week is going to be ranging for um, big time. I mean, you know something? I might have to change it. I don't want to risk your money. So therefore, uh, 111 pips. I mean, let's, let's just be realistic. I don't want to throw the safe zone just like that. I need to be wise and realistic about it. Look at that. I have drawn my... Look at that. This is much better. So the edge of the safe zone now has been drawn better than before as we can see we're ha right here uh we are on the same level of that support number one and also the line is actually touching all of the uh tails on that previous support level as well so actually this is much better level to start uh, sorry to draw the edge of the safe zone exactly it's more safe and more realistic and it's going to be ranging for almost 140 pips. I mean, that is really fair enough since we are aiming uh, 755 pips of profit. And hopefully also we will make it and we will actually going to make some good profit in from this trade. Let me just write for you the take profit level. Take profit level is going to be 1893.62. Really hope it's going to be a very profitable week for everyone and we will make some good uh, deal in this week. So um please guys trade carefully be extra careful right now we are uh, approaching the end of 2020 finally finally thank god we are about to finish this horrible horrible year and please now be careful because ending of december is usually um not i don't want to say the worst time to trade forex however it's not the most recommended time to trade forex we have to be careful because now the holidays are approaching and we have to be uh, paying attention that ending of december usually is the month to avoid trading and just prepare for the next year in january to start trading again in the end i really hope it's going to be a very profitable week for everyone and also in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching